Okay, hello and welcome to my playthrough of the ball with hopefully all secrets. So, um, first of all, allow me to apologize for the video quality. I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but uh, I didn't expect it to be this bad. Uh, I'll fiddle with some settings, hopefully the next video will be better. Uh, and also let me say that all this audio is recorded after the fact mainly because I have this big bulky mic and the mic in my headset is busted but uh, either way it's probably better this way so anyway this is the first part of the video where we go through the first level and this first level is called Pewa which I believe is a Nahuatl word meaning to begin it's kind of logical considering it's the first level, so yeah, may name these levels logically, as far as I can tell. So let's just watch the introduction, I guess. Really bad now, but I think it gets more watchable. Sorry, I'm talking over this guy, but you know. Right then, we get started here. I try to be I try to be a wise guy and jump over this, but of course you can't do that because that would be stupid. room and there's this big dramatic opening but at the same time it's not actually hard to get in which is kind of odd when you think about it uh, I won't spoil the story yet I guess but uh yeah and I'm glad that didn't break by the way because if it did break everything would end right here and it would not be pleasant that vague and ambiguous because otherwise I might end up spoiling the game's successor and even by saying that that's probably some kind of spoiler Basic stuff so far. Mankind yeah, I don't know what's going on with the death. texture quality here, but the um, I look into that too. Power. They taught man many things how to build, how to tame the land, and harness the seas. But when their children betrayed them, 
they guided man no longer. They recoiled and became angry, became vengeful. Mankind prayed that they would never find the ball. So yeah, kind of like they're sealing this world to keep the ball outside of it. Oh, yes, here comes the first secret, by the way. <laughs> secret is Macquill Showcheat. The men came to the village and brought us to where the ground burns. I was afraid, but my husband only smiled and took me by the hand. It is a gift, he told me, a gift that will make you happy. They led us beyond the lakes of fire into halls made of metal. Halls that moved and spoke. We were terrified. We did not understand, but we trusted them. But anyway, um, the thing is, they see they've been, they've gone to all these lengths to stop whatever's inside from getting at the ball, which is on the outside. So they've made it really easy for some Egypt to just fall in and bring the ball in. Uh, it's kind of a bit of an oversight, I guess they weren't expecting people to ever forget the story so like anyone who came across the ball would know it would be a bad idea to to bring it back in but uh... yeah, no oh well, they believed the world would end in 2012 too, didn't they? so yeah, this is the way to the second secret Final. Father placed my palm upon the device. I did not know what it was, but I knew that no man could have forged it. They had built it. When it was over, thoughts were placed in my mind that had not been there before. I was no longer afraid of the machines, which had before seemed like monsters. I did not know how I could have feared them, or anything. Yeah, I think I think all those secret names, by the way, are names of gods and goddesses. Or maybe they're all goddesses. No, I think I think there's some male and some female. I don't know. I think Wikipedia should have information on most of them if you're interested. Third secret? Yeah, there it is. Oh, here we go. E -e -cat. We tested our new mines. We had to discover a way to lave water from the underground river for all the thirsty mouths burdened with constructing the Altepec. Convoys of water bearers between the work sites took gable arms away from the build. So we set out to construct a new system. But we were left frustrated. Our troughs failed. A whole month was wasted. Okay, this is where stuff gets complicated, unfortunately. Like, we're still in the training level, but this next secret is a real pain to actually get. disobedience of the instructions, you know, I was supposed to stand on the player button first, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, yeah. Okay. This is a fairly simple puzzle to solve, but... Okay, right. We're, we're back. Um... So 
So yeah, this 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 isn't that complicated, or at least it doesn't look that complicated. Now I'm just looking over there. There's a little secret room there. I'm not sure if you can see it in the in this video, but yeah, it's it's hiding over there. So the spikes descend into the pit, and this shouldn't be difficult. So I try to jump and fall and die and get sent back here. Now I don't have to solve the puzzle again, but I do have to bring the ball back to the area, which is kind of annoying. Especially when I have to do it however many times I actually ended up having to do it. So that's too far away. And let's see, I'll jump and land on it, but now I'm too far away and yeah. Okay, that was stupid. Uh, yeah, so I'll just cut this until I get to the successful attempt. Whenever that is. Yeah, so I finally made it. So yeah, you jump on the ball, resist the urge to move forward or backward, just jump on the ball. And then, yeah, just very excited, hoping I didn't mess this up. And, Sitlalique. Drought! I sat upon the silt and beat my tool against the dirt. There must be a better way, I thought. Much like getting to this secret, but uh, yeah. Our eyes were open, but our minds were hungry. We built faster than our bodies could follow. I sat in solitude and conjured, peering into the cavity I had dug in the ground. Okay, so I read that too slowly. Anyway, you can go back and pause it and read it yourself. I don't know. So yeah, I die here because there's no way to get back. But yeah, someone on the steam forum did say it's ironic that that se very secret says there must be a better way and I don't know building the conduit from clay yes the secret was still got even though I died of course because this thing saves your progress it's a very nice game in that way I mean very forgiving but uh, what was I saying yeah someone on the steam forum said it was ironic that, that very secret says there must be a better way when it seems that it's very awkward to get to I don't really know, it's not... Maybe there's a hint when they're talking about building a conduit from clay, but that doesn't seem very logical, because it's not like the secret would say something else if you came at it a different way. But I don't know. You know, maybe there's something... Maybe there's something hidden in the game that no one's discovered. Like... The secret text is definitely a constant because all the secret text has been extracted from the game, but I don't know, maybe there's a different way of getting to it. Maybe there is something hidden that nobody spotted, but I, I had read about how this secret was awkward to get, so I just went to it the awkward way because it's better than trying to find a whole new way that probably doesn't exist. <laughs> So, yeah, apparently, even though I've got all the secrets, we're not done. There's still more to the level. Not much more, but a bit more. Yeah, yet another obstacle that's very easy to open from the outside. I mean, it just didn't occur to them that someone might come in from the outside and just start doing stuff and inadvertently bring the ball exactly where they didn't want it brought. I don't know. So yeah.
And here we get some gratuitous floating. As if, you know, it would have been nice for them to put the secret here. So we could soar through the air to get it instead of landing on spikes and dying so many times. So, so many times. I didn't count them. Yep. Okay. It's like portal only more awkward because you're using a hammer instead of picking up the cubes. But it's also more realistic. It's a funny thing about portal actually. The weighted storage cubes weigh something like 40 kilograms. So if you spawn them in Half-Life 2, you actually can't pick them up without the gravity gun. In Portal, they had to increase the player's max carrying weight because... I don't know. Basically, Chell can lift those cubes even though Gordon Freeman couldn't do it. But, uh, yeah. That's... that's me discussing a different set of games altogether. Well... Not that different since this game was inspired by Portal and was used in a promotion before the release of Portal 2. But uh, still, you know, not the same kettle of fish. And it's also weird how those cute physics freeze when they're put into those little alcoves there. I'm not complaining. Not really. More statues and... Looks like we're pretty much done. Just a nice little lift. I don't like the sound of that. And we fall out. But not to worry, there's a nice cushion of water with nothing horrible swimming in it and then we just deactivate the magnet and it's all good come on it's Pewa what were you expecting hordes of enemies flies not very pleasant but uh so yeah that's it if you made it this far thanks for watching and once again, apologies for the video quality, and see you next time.